Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at abstract classes and abstract methods. Alright, so abstract classes aren't used uh, a lot in PHP, at least in my experience, but it's a good thing to know how to do. Uh, basically an abstract class is a base class and it's not, you can't instantiate an abstract class. It's made to, to have other classes extend from and then use the um, properties and the uh, methods that are inside of that abstract class. All right, and if you have an abstract method inside of a class, then that class has to be abstract itself. All right, so let me just give you an example, and you'll see this example a lot. Uh, it has to do with having an animal class as our abstract class and then having different animals as their own class so a dog cat duck whatever alright so let's let's do that okay we're gonna put in our PHP tags and we're gonna say abstract class animal alright and then in there we're gonna have a couple properties let's say public name and we'll have public color all right, and then let's do just a regular method. We'll say public function describe. And all describe is going to do is just give us the name and the color. All right, so we're going to return, uh, return this name, so the name of the animal, and then we're just going to concatenate the word is like that. All right, and then we'll say this color. Okay, so that's described. Now we're going to have our abstract function here. So abstract fun abstract public function. And for this, we'll call it make sound. Okay, which is just going to call it like that. All right, so that's the abstract class. Now we're going to create another class. So let's say class duck extends animal. Okay, and then we'll do our describe. So let's say public function describe. And all we're going to do here is return our parents describe. Okay, just like that. Then we'll do the make sound. So public function make sound. And all we're going to do here is just return quack. Okay. And if we want to make another animal, we could just copy that. Okay. So we'll make this one a dog. Okay, describe can stay the same. Make sound, we'll just change this to a bark. All right, so now you can see we have our abstract class and then we have these classes that are extending it. So what do we want to do now? We want to create a new animal. Let's create a new duck. So we'll just say animal uh, equals new duck. All right, and then we'll say animal name which will set to, um, I don't know, Ben, Ben the duck. And then we'll do animal color. Color is going to be yellow. Okay, so now let's call describe. Save that. Okay, we're not getting anything. Oh, actually, we want to echo because we only returned in the function. We didn't actually do the echo. Okay, so Ben is yellow. Okay, that's calling describe. Now, if we want to call the make sound, we can say echo animal make sound. Okay, and then we're going to get quack. Okay, if we change this to dog. And let's just change the name. We'll say Larry. Color is brown. Okay, we'll call our describe. 
Larry is brown. And then our sound, we get bark. All right, so very simple example. Hopefully it's easy to understand. We have a base class. All right, if, if one function is defined as abstract, that means that the class has to be abstract. All right, so this wouldn't work. All right, you can't have abstract and then have the class not be. And you also can't it's instantiate um, the abstract class. That's why down here we're instantiating the dog class. We can't do animal. All right, if we do that, we're going to get this error cannot instantiate abstract class. All right. So it's very blunt. All right. So hopefully that helps you out a little. Uh, we might take another look at abstract classes later on, uh, but that's it for now. All right. So I'll see you in the next video.